Whew. Yes, yes. January 1st. What's good, y'all? New year, new cops, and boxes full of laces for new swaps. You tube family. Mm. This the first of the month. Happy New Year, fam. What's good with y'all, man? Hey, glad that y'all have made it to see another year with your boy, man. Let's clap it up, bro. Let's clap it up, man. We all blessed to see another year, man. 2021 was a exciting, eventful, shocking, all the above, man. There was a lot of things that happened in 2021. A lot of good people we lost and, you know, just a lot of worldwide events that just was just crazy and you know some good out of it but man it was just a year man it was a good year for sneakers but hey i always tell y'all it's bigger than sneakers man so <sighs> i'm glad that y'all made it through 2021 2022 man i just gotta i gotta say a prayer and hope that this year is is a better year than the last two or three because man if you know you know man um just a lot man kobe bryant man um Young Dolph, uh, it was, is it Betty White? Like, man, a lot, a lot of fallen soldiers, man. But anyways, I just hope, you know, I'm gonna bring it positive vibes, you feel me? Like, hopefully 2022 is, is a year that we all will remember positively on a good note, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully it's good for everybody, but yes, enough with the rambling, man. Hey, glad to have y'all with your boy, man. We starting off 2022 with a bang. A first look, man, we got some shoes that we'll be releasing later on this month. I think the release date is January 13th. This shoe has been pushed back. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all seen the title. I ain't hiding it from y'all and all that good stuff, but yes, man, we got them Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders in the building, man. We about to check those out. But before we do, man, we got to get into a unboxing from my fam over at Soul Premise, man. They sent your boy over some new items that they have over on their site, man. So make sure you check them out after we unbox this. The link of everything will be down below in the description, man. Use that promo code. It will save you some bread, man. And um, I have been getting tons of feedback about people shopping with Soul Premise and they saying how they love the bags and stuff, man. So I'm telling you, if you are a sneakerhead, if you are anybody who likes to travel, whether you go outside, man, like to the mailbox, or, uh, I'm, I'm being sarcastic with that, but like, you know, to work or anything, man, the, the daily bag that they have, the daily commuter bag is an everyday bag that you can use, and, and I'm telling you, it comes in handy for multiple different things. I use it on a daily basis. I didn't know how much I use these bags until I actually got one, so trust me, go ahead and grab your Soul Premise bag, whether it's the daily commuter, the, the Lucky Luciano, or or even this new roller bag that we're about to check out, man. So let's get right to it, see what this new bag looks like, and I will give y'all my honest opinions on that in the next video because I don't want to make it too long. But let's check out these roller bags. Yes, sir. So, hey, this is how the box will come. Hey, we don't just secure the bag, we secure the shoes, man. So, hey, big shout out to Soul Premise. As I said, that is how they come. Um, let's Let's pop it open. So I just unboxed them, y'all. So check this out, man. This one big box had that inside of that. And that small one was inside of this medium-sized box, man. So crazy, man. Check it out right there. You got your sole premise branding. And this, bro, this is quality. This is quality premium materials on this. You do have your roller roller grips on each and every one of them as you can see right here so you can roll them you do got your hand holding piece right here and then you can also carry them sideways right here as you can see you do got your hand grip to kind of hold it sideways and they all come with a a coated lock on the side man so you do not need to have any extra locks or anything you make your own code right here and it does have a key or a a numeric lock so all the bags have that man this this is crazy bro like i, I really gotta look more into this i gotta find out what this is but bro this this is crazy man like they killing the game with they travel stuff man so definitely definitely check out these new roller bags while you can right now because i'm sure that these will not last long because this is just this is crazy once people start finding out about these and seeing them man they not gonna stick around man so i'm gonna just show you a quick sneak peek inside of the medium size bag man take a look at that 
Got your Soul Premise branding written all throughout that. Tons and tons of storage space in here, man. Tons of storage space, bro. This is this is crazy, man. Shout out to Soul Premise, man. They doing their thing, bro. And it's, I ain't even just saying this to say it, bro. This is this is no cap, bro. Like fire, man. So keep doing y'all things, Soul Premise, man. And, and y'all do not sleep on them. Do not sleep on them. The best way to travel, and that's no cap. Whoo, hey, man. They hard. They hard, man. As you can see from that unboxing, man, your boy was kind of excited to see that roller bag, and it is dope, man. So make sure y'all check out Soul Premise. Use that promo code, or actually just click on the link, and that'll get you like the promo code and all that stuff going through that. So make sure y'all check out Soul Premise, grab y'all something. But other than that, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if this is y'all first time stopping through, man. This is the year, man. This is the year that we trying to hit 100K. So hey, with the help of you all, we can make it happen, man. So I thank y'all for all that y'all do for your boy. Let's continue to stay on this positive note that we on and continue to grow together man i appreciate y'all comment down below let me know y'all going after these is this your first pickup of 2022 or are you picking up something before this y'all let me know man but with all that being said let's go ahead and check out these red thunders and let me give y'all my first thoughts and overview on them shoes man so let's get it Ooh, fell right hey this is a perfect catch to start the year that's that's i'm in a perfect throw and catch you know what i'm saying i gotta get myself you know yeah, yeah. Bang, man. So here we go, man. The first. Is this the first? Is this the first Air Jordan release? Of it? The first one that really counts. Let me just say that. Because I don't know what else is releasing before this. But yes, man. One more time. Bang, man. The Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders. Your boy has them. They have been touching down at retailers. That is how I got my pair. So they are officially, I would want to say, releasing on the expected release date of January 13th. The retail price is $190. I'm good. I'm glad to see that because I was supposed to be seeing $200 price points starting off the year 2022, but I'm not mad at it at all. Keep them 190s rolling in. But size tag reads Air Jordan 4 Retro. Color blocking is black, multi color, multi color. It's only two colors, but. Maybe three. I think it's like a little bit of white on the jumpman on the back. Anyway, man, here go the side set. Take a look at that real quick. And first things first, this is not going to be an in-depth review. Like I said, if y'all been rocking out with the channel, you know I do first looks on shoes. And this is just a first look. So this is not like an in-depth review. Um, but let me mention real quick, if you're buying these early, one thing I just noticed off rip is the size that or the side that has your size tag should have that hole right there so if you got a size tag and it has a blank canvas side back here if it's just blank without no hole you might want to get that checked out you might want to have a conversation with your plug because um this is straight from a retail store as everything is on this channel but opening up the box man let's take a look at it together taking off the lid you got your flight your jump man rig regular air jordan 4 box you do have that cement pattern printing on the paper and bang. it's a soft bang because half of the shoe is showing so uh, 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 uh. bang there we go man we got the air jordan 4 red thunders in the building man so this is a, a spin-off of the air jordan 4 thunders or not the lightnings, the thunders. I want to say they're like a, you know, just a, a alternate color of the thunders. Bang! Here they go, man. The Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders, man. Set to release. January 13th, retail price 190 As we just quickly went over, man, but keeping it a buck, man. Keeping it a buck. This is a cop, a must cop for your boy. I like this color block and I like the Jordan 4s. I like what they're doing with it. Like I said, um, it takes after the Thunders, but can we keep it a buck, man? This is another one of those shoes that I call a flea market colorway because I feel like I seen this colorway back in the early 2000s at a local flea market for like fifty dollars or something this type of colorway this this is what i would see at the flea market but you know hey gotta gotta keep it a bucket it, it's a dope shoe it's dope man so you got your red thunders right here and they are clean man first initial thoughts um i'm not seeing too much quality control on this shoe as far as like anything bad i see a couple of glue stains and and, and things like right there in the corner as you can see you can see where that glue kind of 
stands out, kind of white showing right there. And there's little nicks and stuff like right here around the back. But for the most part, this is not a bad pill, man. As you've seen from the size label, if you paid attention, this is a size 10. Therefore, it's not a personal pill for your boy. So I'm waiting on my size to come in. So hopefully I can get my hands on that soon. But I did get my hands on a 10 for right now just to show y'all our first look. And like I said, this, this pair that I have is, is not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Has kind of a, uh, it doesn't have a strong Jordan smell to it, but it, it's very light, you know what I'm saying? But yo, yeah, man, here they go, the Red Thunders. Let's line them up to the bang. The Air Jordan 4 and it's something about that yellow and black, man. It's doing it for me right now, man. That yellow and black is fire. I think it's time for them to retro the, the lightning fours, man. What y'all? Lightning. I'm saying lightning thunder. The thunder fours, man. I'm, I'm tripping. We just got lightnings, but I think it's time for a retro. And um, one thing I can see off, off rip is that tongue. You see that tongue? How you are not seeing that, that color from the front of the, the red thunders. It's more of that OG tongue on them but i do like the color pop i like the color pop on these thunder fours better than the the regular just tongue on these red thunders man but here they both go right here man I, like i said I'm, I'm going thunders over the red thunders but that's just my personal opinion let me know y'all thoughts first thoughts on them as you see them both right here um pretty much identical just color swaps just color flips you know what i'm saying when you have yellow on one shoe you got red and when you got red you got yellow man so it's, it's identical down to the flight on the tongue flight on the tongue written in yellow on this pair man so they both dope man um definitely a must cop for me i won't be doubling up on them because i don't think that they double up worthy that's just my opinion man y'all let me know i know a lot of people said that they double up doubling up on these but i'm not I, i'm good man um just one pair for me and definitely not bad um we're gonna break it down more when we get into an in-depth review of these shoes so stay tuned for that i'm gonna hit y'all with it early before the shoes release i'm gonna try to get better with that this year 2022 but yeah man um it's not much to go to go over no comparisons or anything like i don't i don't have to do too much because of just they, they're identical you know what I'm saying? Um, it looks a little more ashy on this pair because this shoe is, I don't even know how many years old. How many years old is this shoe? I don't even remember when these, when these came out. Like, 2012. So, this, this shoe is what? 10 years old, man. So, it's about time for a retro, man. So, yes, man. But here you have them. Both Thunders. Red Thunder and your OG Thunders right here and um that's pretty much it i just wanted to give y'all that first look my first thoughts on them they are dope but <laughs> i'm standing on they look like a flea market shoe because in my opinion they do that's just my opinion y'all let me know y'all thoughts on them but yeah man hey we starting off 2022 with a bang early early we got some more heat coming and i do have another early look coming to y'all probably within the next day or so man so stay tuned for that but um yeah red thunders Definitely not a bad shoe. Y'all let me know y'all first thoughts on them. But other than that, man, I'm about to check out. And uh, we'll see y'all soon on another video, man. Glad that y'all made it to see another year with your boy. Y'all stay blessed. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't already. And other than that, man, we gone, man. Red Thunders. Whew. Let's get it. Peace.